Welcome to Kwon's Corner. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make kimchi, which is pickled cabbage. Let's get started. Before I start, I want to give a shout out to everyone who requested this episode. This one is for you guys. To get started, we need two cabbages. Bechu means cabbage and kimchi means pickle. So bechu kimchi means pickled cabbage. We are adding boiling water to dissolve the salt faster because my mom was in a rush. But if you have a time, you don't need to heat it up. There are many different kinds of kimchi, but today we are making the most popular one of all, spicy cabbage kimchi. <laughs> We added 2 cups of kosher salt and 10 cups of water in total. Cut off the base to clean up the cabbage. Mm. Mm. We're cutting our cabbage into quarters because these cabbages are huge. But if you have a normal sized cabbage, just cut it in half. Doing what my mom told me to do. It's been two hours, so I'm changing the position, like uh, where the cabbage that was uh, down, I have to place it up, and when the cabbage that was up, and I put it down, so they can soak into the into the water equally. <laughs> the cabbage needs to soak for another two hours. So while it's soaking, let's prepare the sauce. Camera, <laughs> Oh, we need 400 grams of radish, 100 grams of green onion, and one lick. Okay. 
너무 가늘게 보면은 지저분해질 때 음식이 근데 이런 거기를 좀 짜게 고춧고춧하게 썰면은 반찬처럼 나중에 먹을 수가 있어요 If you don't like the texture of radish, you can combine the radish into the sauce. We need two cups of water and two tablespoons of glutinous rice flour. Microwave for four minutes. Kimchi was invented in Korea during the Three Kingdoms era. Koreans buried their vegetables underground to keep them fresh all year long because it was hard to keep vegetables fresh during the winter months. The kimchi we are making today was invented in the 16th century using spicy peppers. But the original version of the kimchi was invented in the 1st century. Stir until the glutinous rice flour is fully dissolved. My mom doesn't add any sugar to her kimchi. Instead, she uses fruits and vegetables for sweetness. We need half an onion too. Cut it however you want and throw it in the blender. Next, we need a quarter of a Korean pear or half an apple. Place in the blender and blend well. Add your glutinous rice flour mixture and keep blending. After you blend the mixture, leave it in the blender to begin the aging process. While the mixture is aging, 
It's time to rinse the cabbages. Rinse in the water twice and drain well. If you have a time, leave it until it's fully drained. Otherwise, squeeze the cabbage well to save time. A long time ago, radish kimchi was the most popular kimchi in Korea. But nowadays, if Koreans hear the word kimchi, they usually assume it means cabbage kimchi. Pour your sauce into a huge bowl or bucket and add your sliced radish. After the radish is well mixed, add your green onion and lick. Mix well. After we finished filming this episode, my mom told me she has a really easy dongchimi recipe, which is the radish water kimchi. She want me to ask you guys whether we should cover it or not. If you want us to cover her recipe in a future episode, please comment down below. Next, cut 1.5 inch slices of daikon radish into quarters and place on the bottom of a huge Tupperware. Finally, put your cabbage in the bowl of sauce and leather sauce onto every leaf on every side. Don't be stingy with the sauce. Get a lot of sauce between every leaf. Make sure to get the outside of the cabbage too. Then wrap it up nicely and place it in a huge Tupperware. Kimchi can last in the fridge for months on end. Usually Korean families will make a huge batch of kimchi together once a year. It's a huge event and the kimchi can last all year until the next kimchi making party. That's it! Our cabbage kimchi is all ready to eat! This is the best kimchi I ever had. It tastes so good. And there are so many flavors that's going on at the same time, so it's it's really hard for me to explain. And cabbage itself is so fresh and crispy. And because of the pick, like salting process, it's really salty. But because we add an apple and a pear, it's sweet at the same time. And because of adding the shrimp, it's like savory. It's, even if it's a salad, it's kind of savory. And with the balsam, it goes so well. I have covered this in earlier episodes, so you guys need to try both at the same time. So, see you next week. Annyeong! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! If you like this episode, please hit subscribe and like button. And if you want to see more video, it's over there, over there. And if you have any requests, comment down below. I'll make sure to cover it in a future episode. See you next week. Annyeong! Annyeong! Ha <laughs> ha